This is an ECG recorded from a patient suffering with recurrent collapses. Pause this recording now and interpret the ECG on your own before pressing play again to hear me interpret the ECG. The rate is 66 beats per minute and the rhythm is irregular. There is a pattern to the irregularity, however. The beats come in clusters of five conducted beats. This is type 2 heart block of the Mobitz type 1 or Venkibach phenomenon. The first conducted P wave has a PR interval of 200 milliseconds or five small squares. With each conducted beat, the PR interval elongates. Eventually, on the sixth P wave, the P wave is non conducted. There is then a pause before the pattern repeats. The axis is left axis deviated with an upwards complex in lead 1 and a downwards complex in lead 2. The conducted P waves are regular and normal in morphology, but the QRS interval is at the border of prolonged at approximately three small squares. The morphology of the QRS complexes is abnormal with a right bundle branch block pattern with an M shape in the anterior leads, and a slurred S-wave in the lateral leads. The ST segments are flat throughout, but there are T-wave abnormalities. The T-waves are inverted in lead V1, V2, V3, and AVL. In summary, this ECG shows a patient with collapses to be in type 2 heart block of the Venkibach phenomenon or Mobitz type 1 variety. They have left axis deviation and a right bundle branch block pattern. Clearly this patient has significant atrioventricular conduction abnormalities and it's very likely that they spend some periods of time with even higher degree block, perhaps with periods of asystolic arrest. There are many causes of atrioventricular conduction abnormalities Whatever the cause, it's very likely that this patient needs a pacemaker deployed. The abnormalities of T waves in the anterior leads could be explained only by the right bundle branch block and abnormal repolarization. T wave inversion is normal in Caucasian patients in leads V1 and V2, and sometimes further into V3 and perhaps even V4 in people of Afro Caribbean descent. However, just because abnormalities can be normal in some patients doesn't mean that you can discount them in others. And in this case, T-wave inversion as far around as V3 cannot be ignored.